Well, haying is a big part of any cattle operation, and we're going to find out more with Common Ground volunteer Emma Vote. Emma is from the Naper area, and how are you doing today? I'm doing great, John. Thank you. Yes, we are in the heart of haying season right now. Um, we got our first cutting done. We've got some grass that we've bailed up. So we're going to our second cutting of alfalfa, and it's quite a timing process. It gets to a certain height. The guys will take the hydro swings or cutters out, and that cuts down the alfalfa. That will lay in the fields for a couple of days. It depends on the temps in the day and heat and moisture. Alfalfa is very sensitive. We want it to get dry. A lot of times that's when you see balers um, and rakers going at night because that alfalfa has got a lot of leaves on it, which is good quality feed for the cattle. So you don't want it too dry when you're baling and it to you know fly off and you're losing that feed. But you also don't want it wet because if it's too wet, then it can mildew. Sometimes if it mildews, you know it can cause it to get hot and that's where you can have bale fires at time too. Um, so it's a very time sensitive thing. It'll sit in the fields for a couple of days before it's piled or stacked in the piles. We leave ours into the field till the fall, and then we're bringing it into hay yards and put it there to store for the winter. Um, and that's a major source of feed for the winter for our cattle. Um, we use it, we either grind it in the big grinder, mix it with silage and some corn and feed it out in bunks. Sometimes we've taken it, out, or at times we take it out um, in the hay buster, and that's what gets fed to the cattle through the winter. Or if those bales get cut and they're put in the hay feeders, um, it's whatever, however many cattle we're trying to feed, what we're feeding, because we want the best use of it. Why do you think it's important for consumers to know about this? It's a lot like canning if you're a gardener. You know, you grow those plants, you make sure that you bring them in at the best time to. Um, cut them up and preserve them in canning. And that's what we're doing with this hay is saving it over for the winter so that our cattle can have feed and are taken care of great through the winter. Thank you, Emma, for being here today and telling us about the haying season. And you're coming back with a recipe to share. I am. I've got cheeseburger sliders. They are perfect for the summertime if you're doing potlucks or just an easy meal. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes.